you know, get more um, acquainted with one another, because family is important. Whether it's immediate, whether it's very distant relatives, because, you know, two people started all of this right here, and there's so many more of us who aren't here today that we need to go find and go drag here and go have a one-day wallet so that we can do more things. Um, so I hope everybody has a great time today. Hope we all enjoy the food, dance. I don't want to see anybody sitting down unless you physically have to. I understand that. So um, we've got great DJ here, Mr. Kevin Ross. And I really a very talented man was playing music yesterday for those of you that were at the meet and greet. Um, I just want to take a moment to uh, shout out my Vice President Patience. And I want to take a moment to shout out my Secretary Sicily. I want to take a moment to shout out the story of my mom, Carla. And I just want to say that I'm so thankful for all of you because without all of you, there is no me. You know, for, for our elders, I appreciate each and every one of you who tell stories, who know how to get to the cemetery, who, you know, know the history and the limbs and the branches. And so I don't want to be up here for too much longer, but I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for coming out tonight. Uh, this is very special and important. Please utilize the bar, please utilize the dance floor, and please utilize yourselves and each other because there's so many things that all of us do that we may not know about. And so take this opportunity to get familiar with someone you don't know. Take a photo with somebody you've never seen before. You're like, who is that? And go ask them. And don't just ask the person next to you because that helps you. Know <laughs> and so with that being said, I uh, just want to thank you guys for coming one more time. And let's enjoy the dinner. All right. All right.
Oh, man. Oh. And Prince 
Harris, out of his job. And then he wrote Deborah and I on April 29th. Daryl and Deborah celebrated 34 years of marriage. Praise God.
Alyssa Patterson, graduated from dental school. Columbia University uh, with a dental degree and moved to Richmond for orthodontics residency at VCU and will be graduated with her orthodontic certificate and master's in June of 2024. Also, a new resident of PG County, Maryland. Right. I haven't read a book in a while, so forgive me. Uh, Simeon? Oh, it's. So, um, so, uh, so I have somebody who was elected as president for Southeast Region Rural Austin Constituents Nursing Society. So that's all right. So that is right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Congratulations. I'm sure that was a lot of hard work. All right. And now Cindy Neal earned a BS in kinesiology concentration exercise science from Elizabeth City State University in December 2021. And then she began a doctor of physical therapy program at Wendy University January 2023. Congratulations. All right. Ernest Eaton uh, made advancements in local union 379 as journeyman, wireman, and electrical, electrical construction. All right, let's give it up for that. All right, Candy Miles retired May 1st, 2022 from Norfolk State University after working 30 years. Cadence Brown uh, got honor roll and will be going to the fourth grade. Second grade and is going to third. <laughs> Cannon Bernard uh, graduated pre K and will be going to kindergarten. Taquita <laughs> uh, right. so Adam Stevens earned a master's degree in education administration.
they got you on dance. Um, if you could uh, go to my uncle, who is the mayor, and ask him what he would like, um, and um, and get his plate going, I would really appreciate that. So thank you very much, Mr. Kendall Mack. Yeah, we got it. Come on.
with the great, the great
It's a kid's name. That was me. He did good on that
Um, and, then, and then we'll move on with the next topic. Okay, so the first person is Joseph Arthur Cherry Jr. He was from the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim. Um, his birthday was February 17th, 1926 to May 20th, 2020. Um, he was also the last living, I think I'm right, the last living um, uh, son or descendant of Joseph Arthur Cherry. Am, am I right, Ms. Mary? No? no. Somebody told me. I'm sorry. I but we, we, we honor him today. Thank you so much. I want to continue to stand because we also need to honor um, his wife, Annie D. Cherry, who was his wife. Um, she was of the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim. Uh, April the 4th, 1930 to February 18th, 2018. And we have one more. Um, we have two. Um, there's Nan Cherry Bowman uh, of the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim. Her birthday was October the 27th, 1920 to July 2nd, 2018. And then there is Derek Jerome Williams of the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim. And his birthday was April 14, 1988. And he passed December the 6th, 2022. We also have Kianta James of the Arthur Cherry Lim. And her date of birth was February the 4th, 1981 to, um, she passed on January the 8th, 2020. All right, James. Kenyatta James, young man. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. I apologize. Um, he passed on January the 8th, 2020. Um, next up, I'm not too sure the limb that she was on. I've been looking all afternoon. Um, but her name was Autumn Alexandra Kirkpatrick. Her date of birth was June 29th. Are y'all saying? Yes, thank you. So this is the, what limb is that? Joseph Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure. The Joseph, the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim. Um, and her, birth, her, her date of birth was June 29th, 1996. Um, and she passed December the 19th, 2022. And she passed as a hero. Okay? I'm just going gonna, gonna to leave that there. She passed as a hero. She was trying to save somebody else from a domestic violence situation. <laughs> For Joseph Arthur Cherry, um, as Lim as well, we have Sally Mae Cherry Webster. Yeah. And her native birth was 11th. Um, and she passed this year, uh, April the 23rd of 2023. I'm going to make sure I don't have anything. Um, yeah. And that is all from the Joseph Arthur Cherry Lim on tonight that I have received. So we honor you all, we honor you all here, we honor those who have gone before. Um, and thank you all for saying that you all will be served. Next, we have John Chance of the Susan Cherry Branch. Um, John Chance's birthday was 2-21-1920, and he passed on um, uh, uh, July 4th, 2021. He was one of our oldest uh, members. We also have uh, Diane J. Cherry of the John Cherry Lim. Um, and her birthday was May the 13th, 1947, to uh, May the 8th of 2020. Thank you so much. We honor you and we honor her once again. We also have um, Marion Smith Cherry Council 
of the Arista limb.
won't leave that out when the planning committee tells us. Get your dues ready. Get your registration fees ready. Don't say we didn't tell you. Don't say any of that. We, will, we want to make sure that we see y'all there. Um, and, and let's have a good time wherever we may go. As you can see, if you look on your program, it's a little interactive game on the program. Um, and it's, it's pretty much like a picture scavenger. So the game is to make us kind of have conversations with people that we haven't had conversations with before. Um, and so if you look at it, if you're interested, uh, while we're dancing on this good old dance floor, while the DJ is doing his thing, um, we want to see if you can figure out some of the things on the back, um, on the interactive game. Take a picture. If you're on Facebook, post it to Facebook. Uh, the hashtag is cherries on, um, cherries top Charlotte. So, um, feel free to do that. We are excited that this is going to end today. <laughs> but, uh, we're also looking forward to church in the morning at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. 3400 Beatty's Ford Road in Charlotte. Um, service starts at 9 a.m. If you are interested in going to church in the morning, please. Can I say the Can I say Okay. Please see Stephanie Walker um, um, so that she, we can have a, a list of folks um, that are interested in going. Stephanie, raise your hand. Um, uh, so that we have a list of folks that are interested in going, so the church will know they have reserved, I think, two rows for us, so just, just so we can be cognizant of that. Um, if you know, if you are like me, you might attend Bedside Baptist, or um, one of my favorites is Bedside Lutheran, because they're a little quiet. She said she's going to um, Bedside Baptist. Well, if, if you would like me, uh, you might have to do that in mind. They have an online service. So you can pull it up on your phone. Uh, if you don't pull up your own somewhere else, you can pull it up on your phone, on your uh, on your computer screen or web, or your laptop or your, your iPad. Um, there's plenty of ways to, to do that these days. We are excited. I'm going to hand this back over to the DJ. I'm excited to be y'all's president going forward. And... Um,
turn. I wanna learn you, but I hope you're so 
Seems pretty.